Bleu de Chanel, Y by YSL Eau de Parfum, and also Sauvage from Dior Eau de Toilette. Which one is for you? Which one is the best? Which one would suit you and your lifestyle the best? Three, two, one, let's do this. Hi, my name is Monica Cho and on this channel we talk about fragrances and colognes. So if you're interested in that, press that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified of my latest videos. And let's get on with today's video. These three are very, very popular popular and quite similar. Many people ask me which one do I get and often the ones quoted are those three and men just can't decide which one to get because let's be honest these three are somewhat similar. They're meant to do somewhat similar things um, and just act as your go-to uh, just dumb reach fragrance. So this is the battle of the blue, as I like to call it. <laughs> so Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum for me, it's the most, I think, sophisticated scent out of the three. This is very sophisticating, a sophisticated smell because it's got patchouli in this. It's very woodsy and it's somewhat like spicy because of the chili in this. It's fresh at the top, the same with all the others, but this has got a very, very beautiful opening. This captures people because of its opening, because of its lemon opening. It's beautiful, it's stunning, it's very captivating, it's a very strong fragrance. Um, I would say this is a fragrance for those of you that do wear a suit and tie sometimes, but also dress down on everyday uh, or weekend basis. This is a fragrance that can, can take you from day to night. It does have quite a strong performance in terms of longevity and uh, it's scent throw, so this is great. It's got the Chanel name on it, which makes it a bit more luxurious, but maybe than the other two, but that is just personal, I guess, branding and what you think is more luxurious. But this is a fragrance that is I think if I was comparing it to the other two, it's slightly more formal. So if you're that sort of person that does have formal occasions, you could wear this to formal occasions, to suit and tie, to an office uh, where you do wear a shirt and a tie. This is a blue fragrance um, that is that sort of vibe. Let's go to Sauvage. So what is the difference between Bleu de Chanel and Dior Sauvage? It has also got this juicy bergamot opening. It's also spicy and woody. It's an extremely manly and will also get you loads and loads of compliments. I think or just out uh, where I live. I'm not out <laughs> of my house at the moment, but from what I remember, this is the fragrance that is the most popular on the streets in my town at the moment. So this is definitely something just very mass market. Um, they are all popular designer fragrances, but I think this one is the most popular. If that thing doesn't bother you, then um, you will enjoy this shower freshness that it has. This is the most fresh, I would say out of all these fragrances. So if you're looking for a fragrance or if you live in a warmer climate, this will be probably the best fragrance for you. This is more of a dress down manly scent. So if you, for example, don't have a, work, um, don't have a job that requires suit and tie, um, if you just work out on the field or like in construction or anywhere like that, that doesn't require ever you just putting on a suit and tie really on an everyday basis. This is more of a fragrance for you. This is an everyday dumb reach fragrance that is extremely good smelling. It has got amazing long longevity and amazing centro. And because this is the order to a let, uh, which is the best uh, for longevity and scent performance. This is cheaper than the other two. Uh, so if you're that sort of guy that does not really, like just wears t-shirt and jeans pretty much every single day, this is a sexy, manly, everyday uh, dress down 
fragrance compared to the other two, I would say. So if you're that person, go for Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette. Lastly, YSL Y Eau de Parfum. So this, what springs to mind, is a very yummy, fresh scent. So in my opinion, this is different to other fragrances on the market at the moment because this has got this yummy element. This has got a fresh apple ginger opening and this one is also sweeter than the other two. So if you like sweeter fragrances but still want to smell fresh and you still want a fragrance that you can wear every single day, this one is for you. Women describe it as yummy and I absolutely love this for the yummy nature of it it's so yummy it's just like mm, you want to eat it when you first smell it the opening is beautiful it's also woody and manly yeah the same as the other two but this one has also got a monstrous monstrous projection and longevity when you spray this like two sprays will last you such a long time you'll smell it everywhere so if you want your fragrance to be extremely strong this one is the strongest and i would say that this is the difference that uh, differentiates it from the other two it's the strongest and also the sweetest and the yummiest fresh fragrance women also love sweeter fragrances on men also for like going out so this could even be a clubbing fragrance i think it would do great in that setting too. So if you want, if you are that sort of person that enjoys that, that lifestyle, then this might be great for you. So I would say this one, why, um, why sell? It's a bit more formal than uh, the casual brother Sauvage uh, with a toilette. And then Bleu de Chanel, I would say comparing it to YSL, it's uh, less sweet, definitely. Um, Bleu de Chanel is even more classy and timeless, and it's less casual than YSL Y. Uh, so I would just really rate them like this in terms of uh, how casual they are. So Dior Sauvage, YSL and the most um, classy, timeless, I would say, um, and formal would be Bleu de Chanel. They all have similar price points. I believe Bleu de Chanel is the most expensive one. Um, women love this one too. I think out of all these three, I would say that I personally think I still love Bleu de Chanel the most because I think it's the most, it's just a fragrance that will just keep on being classy uh, and it will never become outdated. So this is, I think, a really strong point uh, with the House of Chanel. All the fragrances are very, very classy and timeless. So if I was going to invest in one fragrance and I wasn't going to um, buy any other ones um, for myself, I would get Bleu de Chanel but I think these two are very very good in terms of scent and compliments they I think why will get you probably uh, the most amount of compliments from women probably because it's got that slight sweetness um, and I think why because it's a newer release uh, than Dior Sauvage and Bleu de Chanel I think it's a bit more unique and you'll get more enthusiastic compliments on this one because Sauvage is so so popular let me know which one is your favorite down in the description uh, down in the comments bar and let's read the comment of the day if you didn't know I do read out your comments if you are subscribed to my channel and I do shout them out today's comment is from Dion Dion he says line uh, nice lineup uh, miss monica thanks for the great reviews as you always give thank you so much for your very very kind comment i do love to read your comments and i hope my reviews do help you let me know what other videos you would like to see from me down in the description down in the comments not description i'll link the fragrances in the description bar though for your convenience i was every monday and thursday and do remember if you love something you can wear it no matter what the marketing team are telling you and i'll see you all again very 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 soon bye guys